Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, uh, it's Nitro Kyosho. This is going to be another rocket review. We had a lot of fun, me and my son. Hopefully you saw the videos with the Sky Twister. Uh, I'm doing this review today by myself. My son's off swimming, having a good time. <laughs> uh, I got two rockets here. I bought them. Uh, it's pretty exciting. He's pretty excited about this. It's a new hobby for us. Um, I had one of these years ago before he was born. It's really kind of a... It's not an expensive hobby. It's a good father and son thing to do. Uh, these are fairly... It, it's a very uh, cheap hobby to get into, guys. You don't have to break the bank to do it. You can... Geez, for about 30, 40 bucks, you can get the whole shebang, you know, unlike the helicopters that go into the thousands. <laughs> uh, the Sky Twister rocket we bought was a ready, it was a basic, there's ready to fly, there's the kits you got to build. Uh, that was a complete ready to fly kit, which came with the, the launch pad, uh, the, you know, the igniter. Um, it came with one of the engines and uh, the parachute, you know, everything to, in a couple of pieces of the wadding, too. Uh, but these are just basically you get what you see here. Now, we had, uh, we had that kit, so we have all that stuff already. So I just bought them the rockets themselves. Uh, basically, they're just different shapes, guys. Uh, they're different colors and sizes. Uh, you can get engines to make them go higher. Some of the more the bigger ones obviously will go a lot uh, farther up in the air. Uh, these are good. Uh, these are compatible with the base, uh, the launch pad, and the system that we had for the Sky Twister. So I figured let's stick with, with these uh, sizes and stuff. Uh, and like I said, this one. Uh, Excuse me, this one was a ready to fly, uh, which means that you basically just pull the nose cone out when you get it and uh, attach your parachute to the, uh, the uh, cord in there and just put this on. And you basically put your engine in and put it on your thing and you're ready to go. This one here uh, is the free fall, this one was called. Okay, this one was in the design of a crayon. They come in. Like I said, purple, orange, blue, pinks, they count all the different uh, crayon colors. This one was the, the red one, it's called the Red Rocket. Okay. Uh, and these use, as far as both of these will use uh, the engines, uh, the B4-2, the B6-2, the B6-4 will all give you 250 feet. That's what we use because we don't want them going too high. And, Parachutes, they get lost. Uh, the C, you can also use C6-3 and C6-5, which will get you to 650 feet. Okay, so you can put two different size engines. The free fall one came with two parachutes, guys. Okay, one will attach between the body and the nose cone on the rubber band in there, and this one won't attach to anything. This one will come out. This has the which my kid is excited, the little guy on there, okay, on the parachute. So it's a dual, dual system and that one goes off. Comes down in, in two different pieces. Uh, Sky Trooper parachutes down on, on it on its own, okay. Uh, and both of these, like I said, can go off of our, uh, you know, the launch pad system we got. They both use the same engines and everything. This one was kind of more of a kit, guys. This was probably the second stage up type kit. Uh, you had to do some gluing. Uh, the sticker that's on here you had to install. Uh, you had to install the rubber band. The uh, bracket that goes on the side here, these brackets that the, they ride through the metal pole where they launch up out of. You had to measure this the right height, and uh, you had to measure it to be uh, level, and you had to make the little holes and glue it on, and then put the this, this sticker, the sticky piece that goes over it. 
Uh, you had to do the, uh, the inside, you had to put where the engine uh, sits, you had to measure all that and glue all that and put all that together too. And you had to glue the rubber band down inside of here also. So this one wasn't a five minute job. Uh, it took a little bit of reading in the pamphlet and uh, measuring and cutting and gluing. So if you want, uh, if you want the, I wanted to get this one for my son because it had the dual uh, launch there. Uh, this one here, like I said, it came all really basically done. So definitely look and read the, the packages when you buy these guys. Uh, it actually will say here, uh, ready to fly, okay, and this one says uh, easy to assemble uh, E2X level, okay, and uh, like I said, they both run off the same engines, both the same launch pad, so save us money from having to go buy a lot of extra stuff. Uh, we haven't launched either of these yet, uh, but when we do, we'll put a video out, uh, maybe next weekend, and uh, He's excited. I'm excited to shoot them off. Like I said, guys, they, guys, they just do little uh, different things. You know, they're basically not a whole big difference between one from the other. Uh, just different colors and different shapes and styles and everything. But it's a cheap hobby. It doesn't break the bank. It's a great father and son thing to do. I definitely recommend it for you dads and out there. It's fun. The kid gets excited when he pushes that button and launches it, and uh, it's exciting. You know, it, it's fun, and, and it's a real good hobby for the family to get involved with. And uh, like I said, it doesn't break the bank to do it. Uh, the engines you can get three in a pack. If you buy them at local hobby shops, you're going to pay about ten, eleven dollars for three, which is going to give you uh, three launches. I've seen them at A-Main Hobbies for about $6.79, so you save quite a bit of money uh, buying them online. Uh, but if you can't buy them online, or vice versa, if you can't get to a hobby shop, either or, uh, those are your options. But uh, like I said, not a whole lot to talk about uh, with these guys. They're, they're not that, in a, that much really uh, to discuss. Uh, just different colors and different schemes and everything, but just wanted to do a little quick review on these uh, and show them to you. And uh, you can hopefully next weekend we'll, uh, when the kid's not swimming, uh, we'll shoot them off. So, anyways, we'll talk to you guys soon and uh, look for the video. And I thank you for watching. Take care.